Uh, somebody said to me, why don't you ever do bows? Fine, here's some bows. This is the L1. Now, our friend Maro's had this speaker for about 10 years now. And it's just a little compact polymeray. And it sounds really nice. We've used these for parties before, like the Smalley Party in Vegas. We've used just a single L1. Now, what you can do is, you see that top speaker, and that is the speaker part up there, you can just stick it in the bottom. It's almost like a boom box at that point. Everything else is just kind of a spacer to make it tall. But, you know, Marl uses a pair of these for his party for like maybe 100 people. Yeah, they, they, yeah they're busy over here. All right, and then over here. To show you the S1s. This guy's got his hand on right now. They got covers on them right now, but here's the mixer back here. Looks like you got two inputs. And it's battery powered. Yeah, it's battery powered. It's giving you up to like eight hours easily. I mean, depending on sure. which level you're doing. Sure. Yeah. Uh, it's what we call a multi-position speaker. It means you can run it like this, or you have it like in the classical. Sure, you, you can wedge it. Right. Uh, the EQ adapts automatically if you change the position. Okay. Um, I'm using it in conjunction with a digital guitar pre-amplifier. Okay. I play electric guitar and have this guy as a monitor. Okay, that makes sense. Which is a fantastic solution because this is like nothing right. transport and uh, the preamp is nothing transport. Yeah. So I can be the rock cat without yeah. <laughs> you know, having the big Marshall load or something. With right. Me. Yeah. Now we're DJs and these are the kind of solutions we're looking for for like wedding ceremony or cocktail. Okay. For you know remote locations, you don't always have power, mm -hmm. so something small. And a lot of DJs have picked these up, and they're yeah. using two of them on a on a stick. Yeah, and they like them. They yeah. like them a lot. Yeah, I mean the, the piece sounds fantastic. Yeah that's, yeah, that's why I'm using it for guitar. Yeah, right. So I mean, especially when you when you're trying to amplify. Uh, like a sort of rock guitar, it you know most speakers, normal speakers, quit. Yeah, because then you normally have to have a guitar, you know, specific uh, uh -huh. speaker. Yeah, and this guy does. Uh, right. I don't know why, but they're forgiving. Like, but it's really good. They're very yeah. forgiving, and now Absolutely. we've got covers for them. You can do. Yes, we've I mean, got four colors here. Yes, and, and this is just you know for aesthetic reasons. Yeah, but to me, it's you know in a way a little. Part, a, a tiny part of our mission statement, as we say, we we do not want loudspeakers to be visible. It's the artist that counts. It's the music yeah. that should be hearable, but it's not the loudspeaker that should be like you know be seen as right. loud because a device or something. Sure. You know. Yeah. So and so, by whatever well, cover you choose, you can you know put this here aside. Yeah, from you know from your awareness. Right. No, these are cool. And they came out last year? Last year. We introduced them last year here on the net. Right, right. So there you it's have the it, the S1. Really? Yeah, I, I generally don't like those. And no, I, <laughs> you sound like I, me. I came you to the sound show. like me. I came, I came to the show. A friend of mine from Chicago and I came to the show, watched a young lady use these, and went home and bought a pair immediately. I have the batteries in them. My wife right. plays keyboards, okay. which generally don't sound as good, I think, through the bow sticks and so on. Uh -huh. They sound fabulous through these. I think, the, the I don't know what has happened. Maybe the accelerometer, maybe putting the stick inside. It's Bose magic. No, there's an additional well, no. mid-range that comes out of these that is not available in any of your other products from my point of view. And, gotcha. and I play guitar through them, and it's crazy good little guitar, you know, for acoustic guitar. He was just saying that he used to be for guitar. I love it. I have the same story. I mean, yeah. I love we just heard the story. 
I got it on video. We heard it twice. No, I mean, so it's I, I real. I have to say, I and I don't you. work for Bose. I, I've no, been working well, I against. Do. I worked for Bose in 1970. <laughs> no, when the first when the first ones came out, whatever they were, 802, and we ran them with the phase linear 400. Yeah, got you. And put them on top of our Voice of the Theater speakers. Yeah. Bose gave them to us because they wanted to see the 802s blow the Voice of the yeah. Theater's away. We were a touring rock band, and. They they really did quite well. They weren't like the Wilson Theaters. I mean, it 